Hello you guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my budget for my upcoming girls trip to Disney in June. But first, if you're new here, my name is Lauren, I'm a full time working mom that likes to save money because I'm on a budget because we love to travel. Now let's get right into the video. So I got my computer ready to go. Uh, let me first start off by saying that I've never really ever truly budgeted for any vacation that I've ever went on. This is a first for me. Um, my idea of budgeting in the past was never like anything like this. Everything was usually just a rough estimate, like tax, tip, everything was never factored into the equation. So a lot of times we will have a discussion before we go on a trip and kind of get a rough estimate of how much things are going to cost. And we come back and we're just kind of like blindsided by the amount of money in the credit card bill at the end. So a few weeks ago when Disney's annual passes opened up, I knew I had to get it. So I jumped the gun, I purchased it. So now I'm like, okay, I have the annual pass. Now what I'm going to do, I definitely have to scale it back a little, start getting on a, a very strict budget because I do want to take advantage of all the perks of being an AP holder. So I'm really hoping after this June trip, I could start planning my next trip in the fall. So that being said, I really needed to get myself onto a budget. So there's another fellow YouTuber that I would like to give a shout out to, Becca Hart. Um, I watch her channel all the time and she gives great tips. So she had a she has a budget template that she sells on her Etsy store, in her Etsy store. And um, I thought, hey, why not? Let me just try to give this a whirl. And I'll have to tell you that I was completely like shock so yowzer right so we're staying in the art of animation the lion king suites this price per night the 523.38 is actually just my portion um the total for the week for the hotel for me was the 785.08 however for the group it was 3140 and 35 cents um and then the ticket price because they, you know they don't really budget this in a package when I itemized just my portion for the four park days, it was five fifty seven thirty seven. So then we have the Genie Plus pricing. So generally, um, like on our last trip, I really only bought Genie Plus on two days. Um, at the park, we bought it at uh, Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, and you know that that price fluctuates now. So I just estimated about twenty five dollars. I don't think we'll really be using it at Epcot or Animal Kingdom. Um, and once again, these prices are just for myself. Um, my flight cost two hundred and twenty five dollars and twenty nine cents. So for transportation, once we get to Orlando to Disney, I just estimated about $30. I'm not sure if we're going to be taking a bus or a private shuttle. Um, yeah, that price might come down a little bit if we um, get the, the bus. It'll probably be about $15. And then the dining t uh, total, I'm estimating almost $1,000, guys. Um, I'm going to go into that on the next tab. But um, yeah, this is what kind of like really shocked me here that... I need to reel it in a little bit. So um, I have the refillable mug for $21.99 that I usually get at the resort. Um, I wasn't planning to get one, but now they have the Disney 100, so of course I have to get that. Um, clothing, you know, I have just about a $100 budget and then maybe some toys if I see something cute for Lucia and just another $25 for a miscellaneous merch. All right, guys, this now brings us to the dining portion. So day one, it's a little hard to estimate. Um, we're flying out in the afternoon. I'm going to try to scale back and maybe only get like one drink at the airport and skip the snacks and maybe just eat at home or go through the drive through on our way to the airport. So I'm estimating about $88 for the first day. Um, maybe we'll get something you know to eat at the hotel when we get there. The second day we're at Magic Kingdom, I figured we could do breakfast at the hotel, maybe a quick service for lunch, and then the biggie is this Ohana dinner that I've never been to Ohana at dinner time, so that is a very pricey one, but it's kind of on my bucket list. And then, um, so that's $143.19 for Magic Kingdom day two. 
For day three, Animal Kingdom, we have a reservation for Tusker House for breakfast, so I did not include anything for lunch because it's probably going to be a big breakfast. However, I might end up um, canceling that reservation. Day four is our off day. We have a breakfast reservation at Cape May. And again, didn't book anything for lunch, dinner. I figured we'll just do a quick serve and then some snacks and drinks. And then day five, another um, breakfast that $53 at Epcot, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up canceling that. It's This is Epcot is just getting out of control here, $228 for that. So I'm pretty sure we're going to end up canceling that breakfast in the morning and just deal with the, the um, snack stands at um, World Showcase. And then day six at Hollywood Studios, we have Topolino's. I'm definitely keeping that breakfast. We will not do lunch. Lastly, I have a reservation for me and Lucia at Tony's at Magic Kingdom on uh, the last day. Our friends didn't want to um, do that. So that brings it to about um, $97 for that day, which grand total of $952. So that being said, if I were to go and take out Tusker House Reservation and the Akershaw's, I still don't know how to pronounce that. I got to look that up. It will bring the grand total to $847, which is much better. We're looking a lot much better. So I think I'm going to talk to my friends to see if, you know, we could do that. And then I'm putting in the $20 because obviously we have to replace it with something. So it will go up to about $890. Um, it is a lot better than the $952.30 that I was originally quoting. So, you know, just another way to cut costs. Yikes. So as you could see, this brings it to a grand total of $2,926.03, which is just for my portion as well as Lucia's. Lucia does not pay character dining, and she's only about, she'll be about 20 months, I think, when we're on this trip. She still doesn't eat like a normal toddler even, so she'll be sharing a lot of my meals. So I imagine I'll be able to scale back a lot of the other dining, like the quick service I had budgeted for about $20 per uh, meal. However, I think we could probably get away with sharing something and get that down a little bit more. So one last thing I forgot to mention was, as you could see here, I only have four park days on my sheet, which was the total of $557.37. This was because our package was purchased previous to me being an annual pass holder. That's why I'm actually doing five park days, but I'm not counting that last day since it's included with my annual pass. And that's about it. So I definitely have to work on um, tightening this budget a little bit and getting that under wraps. So that's gonna about do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So I hope this gave you a little bit of insight for your upcoming Disney trip or your regular trip if it told you, hey, I need to get on a budget. Uh, if you like this kind of content, I would really love for you to stick around and subscribe. Hit, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and the bell. It really helps to support the channel and it really costs you nothing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!